Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carolyn. I'm a mama to twin toddlers named Summer and Winter who are two years old now. In this video, I'm gonna share just a few tips, tricks, and hacks for road trips if you're traveling with kids. We actually did a huge road trip when they were about four months old in our VW van. We were gone for a whole month on the road doing the whole West Coast and it was gorgeous. But with that said, things are a lot different now that they are toddlers and they aren't the little babies that they were when we used to travel with them. So I'm gonna share a lot of the things that I have picked up and learned and researched and then discovering along the way. And I'm gonna share some tips with you that I think are gonna go really well. All the ideas that I'm sharing with you right now are things that either were helpful when we traveled with them as babies or are th something that I've researched that I think is going to be helpful for this time frame right now. So hang out with me today and I hope that some of these tips are helpful for you. And of course, as always, if you're not yet subscribed, I invite you to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube where I share all about how to travel with babies and toddlers as well as twin mom life. Thanks guys. So does anybody know what this is? It looks small and simple. I like that it folds up really small actually, <laughs> but this is actually a back seat pocket holder for all of the things that I think my kids are going to need to stay entertained and have snacks along the way, as well as just a good place to store some things if we don't have another area. So I'm gonna be setting both of these up in our car. I actually did get two of them, specifically because we have twins. <laughs> so how it works is this is gonna go around the top of the front seat, and then this little thing here goes around the bottom, and then we can put all of our things in here. The specific parts that I like about this is that one, I can wipe this part off. So if they wanna put something in here, like an iPad, or if they wanna have just their toys in here, it's nice that they can see things. So what I'm gonna put in this top part is I'm gonna fill it up with some drawing toys cause our kids right now are really into drawing. So this is actually just a really fun little water wow toy. If you haven't tried these, I definitely recommend it. You actually have water in this little pen here and then as they draw on this, it will color and then when it dries, the color goes away. So they can do it over and over and over. Perfect for a road trip also because they're not going to be using the crayons on their car seats or you know all the things. My kids definitely do that, I don't know about you, but <laughs> comment below if you're having issues trying to figure out how to help your kids not draw on the walls, even in the car. Okay, so that goes in the top here. A Couple other things that I'm putting in this pouch specifically are just some snacks because our kids love to snack. And these are just a couple things that are easy and don't have a huge mess. So these are just like simple little bars that we've got for them that they like to eat as well as pouches, which I feel like every parent loves. <laughs> I actually learned to make my own of these as well, but I like to bring the store made ones with us when we travel because obviously it's easier to throw out the pouch rather than the ones that I make. I reuse the pouches and I wash them over and over and over and yeah, when you're on the road, you're not gonna do that, so. <laughs> and then it has two side pockets where I'm putting all of their drinks. So they actually, believe it or not, my two-year-old toddlers are both drinking out of like adult water bottles now. So these are just like, you know, whatever, normal size water bottles. <laughs> so with that said, I'm gonna put one in there. Pops right in. It's actually a perfect fit, so that's great. You can also get ones that have a lid that is like one of those like pop on, pop off lids. Those are ones that I prefer over these, but these ones are way cheaper, so we buy them more often. <laughs> and like I said, it, it, we just take them with us everywhere. And then I also put a juice box in here because they are really into juice boxes right now. I mean, <laughs> toddler phase, right? Okay, the other thing that I thought about putting into this top pocket specifically because it is clear, is an iPad. Look at that. <laughs> so yeah, that's the other thing that I like about this. We're trying really hard to not let our kids have screens on the road, but with that said, maybe we might bring this as a backup. <laughs> if we decided to let them play with iPads on the road, the nice thing about this is that it is touch friendly. So if they wanted to use it, they can touch through this clear colored stuff and actually like draw or something like that's like the big thing that they love to do is they love to draw. 
So I usually would like put on my doodle app and do it in there. But like I said, I'm bringing the other drawing thing. So I think that that'll work just fine. But this is just a nice alternative. And again, it's kind of a pro that this is actually clear. Also, if we wanted to let them watch a movie, this would also be a really great way to let them do that. So as for the bottom part of this, I'm just gonna fill it with a couple of extra toys and like snugglies. I'm also gonna put a blanket in there for in case it gets cold. So it's easy access for us to hand it to them if we need to get it without the car being like a total mess. Because I don't know about you, but before we started using these, my car was a total mess, like for real. <laughs> All the different snacks and toys and jackets and water bottles would just kind of accumulate between my two toddlers car seat. And anytime that we'd need something, I would have to like clean the car up and then hand it to them and then clean up when we leave, clean up when we get back in. It was just a lot of cleanup. And I feel like this is going to make it a lot simpler because there's a place that it goes instead of just like piling up in the middle of the car seat. So there you go. <laughs> Last but not least, the other pro about this thing is that it's actually wipeable. So whether the kids are kicking the bottom or the top, you know, whatever, I can just wipe it off. I might even also put a thing of wipes in the side here if we decide to switch that out for the juice box since we're bringing the water. I'm also adding sunglasses on here because they definitely need to have sunglasses on the road. Also, I did just put wipes in here, so I think that that's gonna be a good spot to keep those for whenever we need them. And then for the bottom, I'm gonna put in some books, a couple of little toys that I know that they will like. One of my daughters is really into poppets and really likes these. So like the little, if you haven't heard of these, these are like the toys that they can pop and they just like, they love to do this. Very entertaining. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm gonna throw in these cute little bunnies. They're basically like blankets, but they're also like little lovey teddy bear type things. So anyway, we got these actually for Easter from my mom. They're so cute. So I'm gonna give them each one of these in there as well. Another little road trip hack for you if you don't already have them is for anyone who has backward facing car seats, I definitely encourage you to install the little mirrors. That way you can see your baby's facial expressions and if they're awake or sleeping while you're driving. Whereas these organizers are more for kids that are facing forward. Zipping it closed is also an option that's really nice. And then additionally, I can wipe down all the surfaces and it's really easy to clean up and put away. All I do is unbuckle the tops and then of course unvelcro the bottoms and then I can fold it up to store nice and small. I'm gonna leave all the information and link to this product in the description below in case you're curious. Okay, next tip. When you're in the car, it can be really sunny, so I definitely recommend having some type of shade. This one specifically I like because it has a type of material that sticks to the window. It's basically a plastic side along with a matted side. So the plastic side literally just sticks right to it and I can also wash it off and wipe it down if I need to because of the material but it literally just sticks on. All I do is press it onto the window and then it stays there. It is awesome because I can kind of relocate it as needed just in case it is not in the right position. I can always move it. I wish it was slightly bigger to take up the whole window but hey it works and it definitely is a plus for when you're in the car especially especially for long periods of time, and I have one for each side. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that these tips were helpful for you. If you're looking for how to travel with kids or how to do a road trip with toddlers or babies, I think at pretty much any stage, some of these things are gonna be really helpful for all age groups. With that said, I also wanna say thank you so much to the Termichi brand for sponsoring this video. I highly recommend checking out their car seat organizers in the description. I'm leaving the links so that you have all the info that you need to check it out. And if you have any specific questions on videos that you'd like to see next or tips for how to travel in other ways, definitely leave your questions in the comments below. I would love to help answer them based on all of our different travel experiences. We've probably gone through something related to whatever questions it is that you have, but then again, we're always still learning. So <laughs> if you have any tips, definitely leave your favorite tip in the comments below as well. Thanks so much. And if you're not yet subscribed, I invite you to subscribe to my channel for more travel tips and twin mom life. Thanks. I'll see you soon. Bye.